Let's Play! Hi guys and welcome back to Let's Play JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle. Now we're going to be going into part 3 with the characters fittingly from part 3. Now, Campaign Pack 2 has come out, and I thought Campaign Pack 2 would give us, well, Campaign 2. Nope, it gave us Campaigns 1 through 5, meaning that I have a whole lot of stuff to unlock. That said, I think I'm going to stick with Campaign 1 for now, simply because I want to get all the stuff from one before moving on to another. Oh my god! Really? I was just gonna say, whenever I've been playing alone, you know, in, in my spare time, I never get boss fights when I first start. Guess that's not the case here. So we have Huamu, and uh, on the one hand, I do just want to get him out of the way. Ah, but it's fine, I think I'll just keep myself some... Four should be good, but of course German science is the best science, we all know that. So, that'll cut down his health, making our lives a wee bit easier. Uh, true story actually, I was playing and I wanted to get rid of Dio really quickly, so I put his health down, and then I lost the fight. So as you can see, there's actually more characters on the screen now because, well, more DLC characters have come out. But I think I'll wait off on them until we get to them, you know, they'll do all the DLC characters in one go. So starting off though, we have Noriaki Kakyoin. He has a very hard to pronounce name. Also, he is a very strange character. He's not really musically related, unlike a lot of other characters. I think it's because they really wanted to go more, at least to begin with in part 3, to tarot cards as the design. So. His stand is Green Hierophant, which is based off of, if you play Persona, you know the Hierophant card. Now, he's actually a mid-range fighter, so he's pretty fun to play. Um, I wouldn't find myself playing him much, you know, on my own. Or, well, it looks like I'm, you know, getting destroyed to begin with. That's fun. Also, he has the creepiest uh, heart heat attack out of them all. So much so that my sister was like, please don't play as him, <laughs> ever, because she doesn't, why is it so slow, oh, I forgot, he's a really slow character. Thankfully, green, or I mean, emerald splash is really powerful, and can be used to basically break the AI, where I could just, you know, sit here and spam it. Come on. Uh, the Hierophant's Barrier is actually a like, it's almost like a ranged projectile, if you will, where you can just put it anywhere on screen by pressing down, down, then either light, medium, or hard. It's a very interesting attack, and one that I do, you know, see use out of. So doing it light gives me one right in front of me, which would be nice if I could actually, you know, hit him. Not my favorite character to play as, but he's, you know, a character. Very stylish. I didn't show his taunt either, but it's, uh... Very special. He puts a cherry on his tongue and goes, rero, 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 rero. It's, I can't even do it. Because it is, he goes, rero, but because he's Japanese, it's like, rero, 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 rero. Very interesting character. But, uh, I think out of all those, the only one we got was Wamu Color Tint C. So that's fun. You start to get a lot of the same items after a while, I noticed, um, especially with the bosses. There's nothing you can really do about it, but, eh, yeah, whatever. Thankfully, though, the next couple Part 3 characters are a lot more my style. So, next up we have, if I recall correctly, Muhammad Avdol. Let's see here, I might be wrong. We'll have to take a look. Is that who is next? No, it's Jean-Pierre Eiffel. Or, as everyone else in the world knows him, Polnareff. Jean Polnareff. The reason the name was changed was because of some licensing issues with there's a French musician whose name is Polnareff. For some reason, though, in all the other stuff, he's been named Polnareff fine, but for this they had to change it. It's very strange, I'm not exactly sure why they went about it this way, because even in the Capcom fighting game that recently got re-released, he's still... Polnareff. Whatever. He's an awesome character, though. One of my personal favorites, because he's very speedy, very fast. All of his attacks are just like, come right out the gate, very fast. 
And in a fighting game, you know, it's like he doesn't hit the hardest out of all of them, but he hits, you know. Okay. I've never seen that technique. Not that it's actually doing that much, though. An interesting thing, though, is that his uh, Harkeed attack is actually a buff. If you've played any of the, you know, Capcom fighting games that, I mean, like, you know, made by Capcom, you might, it's sort of like Zero Soul Body, where now attacks do more hits, right? It's interesting, but I don't see my, myself actually using it, because it disrupts the flow a bit, which is very strange. That said, Polnareff is a fun character, and he's French. So if, if you're like me and think French culture and everything is just hilarious, in, in a good way, you know, it's like, you know, not just the oh baguette, but you know, with that as well, because when you do his his great heart attack, or is it great heat? I'm not sure. Uh, he goes, no, 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 with like the extra N. Very funny. He's very French. I like him. Also one of the few characters that she survive apart. It's kind of sad when, you know, you can count the characters who survive apart on one hand because... Oh, what is troubling me? I'm not sure. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, for a chance to win one of them... Sure, let's go with this one! Damn it! Alright. So, uh, whatever. I mean, I think in terms of all the items and stuff, as long as, I'm a little worried that in the long run, I won't be able to get some of these. If, for instance, the online functionality dies out. That's a definite problem. But at the same time, it's like, I might be able to do it all in time? Be more modest. What does that mean? What's gonna happen? I don't even think I've ever got this guy. These steel balls hold a history and secrets that you cannot begin to imagine. Respect the steel balls. It's important. Thanks, Wika Peepo. You can- Ah, uh, nah. I'm good, bro. Alrighty. Now we have, if I recall... Now we have Muhammad Avdal. He is a fun character to play. If only because he's, I, the really... One of the few characters that really feels like a zoner. And, you know, you're necessarily using his projectiles, mostly. Um... Plus, he's just a cool character. And when I first saw him, I'm like, I don't really care for his design and stuff. But after watching him more, he's actually such a cool character. He's a fortune teller with basically a Blaziken. It's pretty sweet. Alrighty, let's stand on for this one. So as you can see, he actually has different projectiles when his stand is on or not. So when you do it normally, it's just a... It's called Flaming Detector, and I think it actually tracks... Yeah, see it like it tracks. If you turned off, oops, then you have Crossfire Hurricane, which is one of the coolest names. I just, oh, I love that attack name. If you do it backwards, you actually get a special version, which goes to the ground. And if you hold it, it will hide underground and look like it missed. Now, if I can do it or not, that's cool. And then it will come up and attack really cool very creative stuff there we go I was worried I missed also one of the coolest taunts in a weird way he goes which is I don't know is that meant to be African or Egyptian because I think he's from Egypt. I'm not sure Very strange, but awesome and he speaks it in English. I love it when they speak in English We got ACDC taunt a Joseph taunt. Oh, I don't think I have Joseph. I do have Joseph taunt D well Okay And now we're coming up to the Not fine. Oh, I forgot there's actually Part 3 is the most characters of Fire Call. No, well, Part 2 is pretty close, actually. I'm not sure. I'll take a look. But they, they have one of the most. And fittingly, because it is, you know, such a uh, 
big in terms of not even like just the canon, but in terms of just like popularity. So what's this? Oh, Dire. Sure, we're not going to use your effects because we're good. But that will be helpful because the next character, I don't like that much. He's just a... Uh, I haven't gotten to the part of the anime where he comes in, so maybe I just haven't attached to him yet like I have some of the characters. But we have Whole Horse here. Uh, I think I'll just go with normal stuff. I sometimes like to change the color just to change it up, but... See, I don't know what's his deal. Because... Well, I know he can control his bullets. But whenever I see the computer doing it, he just sends a straight projectile out, like, in the wrong direction. And his stand is Jay Giles, but he calls it centerfold in this because copyrights. And I missed. So let's see if I could do the, the aiming. I think you actually have to use a stand button. How do I? There's a way to move them. Whatever. That's cool, whatever. Let's just, uh, just fight normally. Oh, right. This is a cool one where you, you, uh, do that and shoot it. It's an anti-air projectile. It's a very cool. I like that as a sort of, uh, and I missed. That was a waste. I didn't know that his was an anti-air. So that sucks. But on the other hand, we get to finish with a K with a throw, which looks cool. So that was Whole Horse. I have nothing to say about him because I don't play as him and I don't know about him. Sorry to disappoint. Alrighty, now we're coming up to the final character for part three, who is not DLC. And one that might be becoming my main, slowly but surely. Just from playing him, I've come to learn of his beauty and style and grace and awesomeness. So you'll see, I think we've already fought him a couple times here anyway, so it's not like it's that big of a... Big of a spoiler. And of course, German science is the best science, again. Which will be nice, although it means I probably won't be able to show off the uh, great heart attack, which... Everyone knows and loves. Even if you don't know this game, you know it and love it already. Now we have Dio. But Dio in the form of with jo Jonathan's body. So he's stolen Jonathan's body and has a stand called the world. Or as he puts it, Zawarudo, which is such a stupidly awesome name. He fights like Joseph Jotaro, that's who I meant, with, um, with like more time-based stuff. Very awesome character, though. So as we can see, his stand the world is pretty buff. And an interesting thing is, in one of the Hulk comics, the Hulk cosplayed as the world. Which is so weird, but so awesome. Let's go stand off here for a sec so I can show. I'm trying to... Okay, this isn't working out. Can I not hit him in this time period? Attack? Whatever? I think there's... I think there's a bit of delay with my... With my controller is what I think it is, because it's weird. I've been hitting it normally. Come on. I can't lose as my main. It's very strange that he's doing... Okay. Now we'll do it. Yes, there we go. So you'll get to see this. Which is the best... The best attack in the game. I'm a little... I was gonna say, if he's gonna kill me because I thought I could taunt, I would not be very happy. I didn't really get to show off Dio that well because I think my controller's busted. And it sounds like an excuse, 
but it's not. I actually was hitting and it wasn't working, so that's fun. Whatever, that is part three done though. We got ACDC taunt A, Wamu victory. Ah, yeah, there we go. We needed his outfit and I got his outfit. One step closer to getting everything, which is kind of what I want, both in life and in, in games. So I think actually I'll leave leave the rest of everything for next part so I can hopefully cap off the uh, the parts a little easier. Thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.